Here I am, crushing miles, uh, 411 miles to go. Everyone has left me for dead because <laughs> I am limited to 63, 64 miles an hour and I'm bouncing off the rev limiter and everyone else is gone. What do we have here? Natchez Trace Parkway. So I'm on the Natchez Trace. What the, hey, that's worth a picture moment. I don't care if it costs me time. This is cool. I'm gonna take this and send it to the cannonballers. Let them know what I did instead. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Okay, I'm hauling ass along and uh, the next turn is a gravel section. I didn't realize we had day seven gravel. 48, oh man, this is a lot of gravel. Wow, yeah, that's the plan. I'm skipping this. I don't need this bonus point. How did I miss a turn? I just started having fun and I missed a turn. These little junctions just don't stand out. They look like driveways to me. Is it, is it just me? Scooter rivers, why are they going that way? Am I going the wrong way? No, all my chevrons are pointing the correct direction. I'm going the right way. Need to get off these back roads today. I'm not enjoying this at all today. I think I'm gonna call the ball on these uh, back roads and I'm just gonna skip to the last control point and go to the hotel. All right, good morning all. Uh, it's about 7.45 on Saturday morning. This is day seven of the uh, 2023 Scooter Cannonball Run. Uh, yeah, my brain's fried, but uh, we're, we're up and kicking. Uh, we slept in this spot right over here. Uh, four of us, doink, 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 lined up and uh, we borrowed a uh, hotel shower uh, from one of the other participants, Ronald Rumpf. Ron, thank you, sir. I did leave the room key in there as per instructed. And uh, we picked up another rider today on an MP3. Uh, he's uh, from the Houston area as well. So we're gonna caravan up today. Uh, I do have uh, one of my pieces of gear that I left over here in the front of the hotel last night and it's still there. Somebody just took it, where'd it go? Oh man. Let me see if it's in the van. Yeah, there was a chair, a bag chair. You have it, okay. Okay, cool, I'll get it from you tonight. Yeah, I left it there last night. Okay, I'll get it tonight. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Cool. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was there as of like five minutes ago. I gotta get out of the way. Cannonball brain, man. Everything's falling apart. So, today is going to be 412 miles. Uh, I think it said. What was I? What was I thinking? What was I? Uh, what was I hearing? Thinking in my brain. I'm moving this over to the seat where I can get to it. I've got my super secret uh, roll chart holder right under here. <laughs> I just sit on it. Uh, it's a little dirty from that, but you know we'll get there. Mileage and elevation profile. Day seven start. Uh, that's us. It is 415 miles. I'm sorry, 415. I underestimated by three whole miles. So here's our elevation uh, plot. Pretty much nothing. Flat. Uh, not going to be uh, real twisty as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah, New Hope Church of Christ is our first bonus point. We're going to get the pictures taken, get underway. This goes in my roll chart holder. <laughs> and uh, picture time. There we go. That's a good shot. All right, they're rolling without me. We're not on comms this morning. I don't think my comm is charged. I need to pull up my route. All right, we're off. Hope I'm not missing a turn right away. Alright, so apps, trip planner, save trips, day seven track, and okay, and go, and what are we doing there? It's easy going. We're supposed to turn here. 55 North, St. Louis. Well, we lost all of the other guys, so I have no idea if we're making right turns, wrong turns, left turns, sideways. Not a clue. Uh. closest entry point let it go so I'm dragging behind this morning with all the equipment prep and gear and battery charging and I don't want that pop-up get off of there how many times do I have to say no 
Uh, <laughs> anyway, here I am, crushing miles, uh, 411 miles to go, 17 miles to my next turn. Hopefully I don't miss a uh, checkpoint. Everyone has left me for dead because <laughs> I am limited to 63, 64 miles an hour and I'm bouncing off the rev limiter and everyone else is gone. I miss my Dr. Pulley, but I don't miss the problems it was giving me. I'd be doing 10 miles an hour faster than this with the Dr. Pulley. 10 miles an hour. It's a, it's a pretty sizable difference when you're talking about uh, freeway speeds, especially on a 400 mile day. You know, 10 miles an hour across uh, that span, you're talking about a reduction of about two hours travel time. Oh well. Here's the road. All right, it looks like I might have actually caught up with the boys. I just saw them turning off the highway where I turned off. They're a quarter mile, maybe half mile up ahead of me here, so maybe I caught up with the group after all. I figured I was going to be lone wolfing it all day. We'll see. They're hammered down and running, so see if I can catch up to them. There's no way I could keep up with that MP3 on the highway. He was he was hauling. He was doing 75 plus. So that looks like the rest of my troop up in front of me. The, I'm slowly gaining on them, but it's taking a while. Pretty far back, and I'm limited on speed, so they've got about the same top speed. It takes forever to catch up. <laughs> going over the bridge here. Got about two miles to our turn. Big old river. Oh, yeah, look at the barges. Pushing some big stuff. Tennessee state line. Welcome to Tennessee. So the boys are continuing on the interstate for a long while and they're going to intercept the main track uh, 30 or 40 more miles down the road. I went ahead and jumped off of the highway and I'm taking the uh, official route. I prefer these back highways. So it looks like I'll be lone wolfing today at least for a while. They'll probably beat me to some of the checkpoints and all that. That's okay. I'm gonna run pretty much the official route today, and uh, if there's any dirt or gravel sections, I'll probably skip those. I'm just gonna focus on getting to the other end of this as quickly as possible, but without running the interstates. I don't, I don't enjoy that. I'd much rather look at this instead of uh, six or eight lanes of concrete. This is much nicer on the eyeballs. Look at that, that's beautiful, beautiful. Got another scooterer coming up on me. Been out here solo for 45 minutes. Haven't seen a soul. And another rider on, uh, looks like an X-Max. Yep, X-Max. Cruising along, busting miles. Dr. Pulley Variator in here, I'd have uh, equal or better top speed, but I think being back to factory is probably a good idea for now. I just need to keep this thing on the road and reliable until I complete the trip. This is no good. I know I was smelling oil. This uh, X Max is burning oil bad, or S Max rather. He is smoking, smoking. Uh, I can't tell if I'm supposed to turn right or straight. I think I go straight. He's got a mechanical. Uh, I've been smelling you know, a lawnmower in front of me for a while. Hey, there's more scoots. Uh, yeah. He's got problems with that. I was hoping it wasn't me smelling, smoking. Looks like a lot of people use the freeway and bypass the official route. I wanted to stay on the official route uh, in case I have a belt fare <laughs> or any other mechanical uh, I'm easier to find. And I think he might be a DNF for today. He's smoking everywhere. Hopefully it's just something simple like he's got a, uh, 
a leaky something. Hey, 31 miles an hour. I uh, hope he's got a leaky something that can be fixed easily and he's not just down for the count. We'll find out. I smelled it when he went by me on the highway. I was like, why do I smell oil? I hope that's not, uh, not me. Anyway, I'm on the right path because I see other scoots in front of me, so we'll keep on trucking. Bonus point uh, or control point, something should be right up here. I don't know if I missed. Hey, I don't know if I missed any of the uh, bonus points yet uh, with that first highway bypass, but we'll see. Okay, rolling up on the first uh, whatever this is. It's not labeled on my uh, map here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm just zoom way in for it. Bonus point one. Yeah, so I haven't missed anything. This is the. Uh, it's the first one. Church. Uphill so it doesn't fall over. Get a quick picture and roll out again. <clears throat> Zooming back out, get an idea of what the route looks like ahead of me. Uh, we got 6.3 to a right turn on 70 alternate. I doubt that I'll be able to outrun these people, so I'm not even going to try to pass. These are 250 class scoots. They can get down the road pretty good. It's going to be a long day. I'm already sleepy already. I uh, got a decent amount of sleep last night, I guess. The margarita definitely knocked me out, helped me sleep through the mosquito uh, infestation. Because, man, let me tell you, those mosquitoes are brutal. And, God, these are big holes. Hey. <clears throat> so, this is our right turn. Rider number 310, 310 from Utah. Got a long way to go back home. All right, if you're not gonna go, I'm gonna go. He's going a different route. I'm gonna stay on the main and keep on trucking. Or am I off route? Oh, I'm off route. Crap. See, I made a mistake. I made a routing error. It said 70 feet. That's messed up. It looked like a turn, did it not? You all saw it? You all saw it? Call me a liar. Tell me I'm wrong. It looked like it was saying turn. Why was that a turn? It should have been a straight. So, I gotta go back. Yep. I don't get it. Where am I supposed to be going? Bumpity bump bump, bump bump. What was that all about? It was come up here and take a right. So that was a straight. Why was it telling me that it was 200 feet Main Street? This is it. It's not 200 feet. It's right stinking here. Uh, why was it even showing a turn? That's really dumb. It said turn right. I turned right and I was off track. 
Oh well. So he was doing the correct thing. He was going the right way. I was going the wrong way. But at least it was a very brief routing error. I didn't go miles out of my way before I figured out I was off track. Hmm. I'm going to call this group the, uh, the Cautious Cornering Club. <laughs> they they don't hang corners at all. <laughs> they slow down to like barely what the posted sign curve limit is, and uh, <laughs> let's just say they don't lean. <laughs> the cautious cornering club. Coming up on another checkpoint, the bonus point. I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can not run these people over as they uh, over break for corners. Um, yeah, it's coming up. If I could have gotten around this group, I'd be done with this next checkpoint and gone by the time they arrived. Okay, so this is uh, control point one or checkpoint one, whatever terminology you want to use. Uh, this is it. Got to take our picture here. This is a mandatory, not an optional. I'm going to uh, quickly snap the picture and get out from behind this uh, very relaxed group of people. <laughs> A little too relaxed for my speed. Stop here. Damn it. Quit. Phone is opening all kinds of shit I don't want. Piss off. I think the, uh, the action on the uh, the app could be a little faster. I don't like the uh, all the waiting for the second pop-ups and all that. That's uh, it's time killer. Oh, no, I don't want to end up behind you, people. A little too relaxed for my speed. All right, off we go. Take a left on US 70. Unless it is giving me an incorrect left again. I think it's just jog across the intersection there is what it is. Yeah, it is, it's a jog. It's not a left, it's a straight. something miles to the next turn 152 37 right 152 all right so I'm still on the main track but as far as uh, Garmin is concerned it keeps telling me to turn around go back the other way there's an alternate path up here on top uh, but it skips bonus point two so I'm back here on this tiny little two-lane twisty uh, Tennessee road. It's fun, but the pavement is not the greatest. It's pretty rough, a lot of off-camber, and uh, getting onto it, there was a bunch of gravel and low spots, so I hope nobody downs it. You're coming down a hard, you know, downhill hard in the brakes to uh, make the, the turn uh, near a stop sign, and there's gravel everywhere. So. Hopefully we don't have some riders that eat it to find out. Almost caught me out, but I saw it and I was like, whoa, 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 that's going to be tricky. I actually missed the turn because it doesn't look like a turn. It looked like a driveway. It was very weird. And then you go down around a little corner and then take another turn. And then another turn is uh, it's quite, the, quite the weird setup. Okay, so again, Garmin is telling me to go left, but the main track and the bonus point is over here. Let's see if I can not get run over. If I look at the map, it's telling me to go north, but if I go north, it puts me on an alternate track and I do not get the bonus point that's down here, so I don't know. I'm going down here. I don't really care about the bonus points. I'm not in the running anymore, but I'm trying to run the full main route. Today. Tomorrow, we'll see how that goes. Twisty little highway back here. A little back road, not a highway. A lot of tree cover and a lot of shadows that you can't read and in the shadows inevitably are big ass potholes 
or gravel on corners, so it pays to take it easy. In these mountain hills, you end up with a lot of sediment, you know, gravel and sand and stuff like that that uh, flows out of the mountains after it's rained, so you never know what those corners are going to be like. You know, these blind rises, you have no idea what's ahead of you. Does it go left? Does it go right? And I'm not making you a turn. Off camber, seriously off camber. Heck's dragging the bike off into the ditch. <laughs> Where does it go? <laughs> left, right, straight. Pick one, hope it's right. I'm glad I came this way. This is a fun little road. I'm sure it's adding a lot of time to my track because I'm not going very fast, but it's fun. real tight they're not kidding around there's no speed uh, warnings or indications they'll give you a squiggle good luck on the squiggle navigate it at your own uh, pace and risk <laughs> I'm not hanging these corners hard because I have no idea what lies ahead these are unfamiliar roads and you don't know if there's gravel patches or giant potholes or whatever waiting for you definitely keep you on your toes here Fun road though. Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. Oh, no U-turns for me, man. Where's it go? <laughs> ah, blind rise. You're just hoping it continues straight. Ugh. That's a kidney killer. The ones that are really deceiving is when you come up over them, it's a blind rise and you see road straight ahead, but right over that rise, it does this. Unless you've got the go-go uh, -go gadget jet thrusters to uh, hop you to that next point, or the Mario Kart thrusters, you better be ready to zig when that road zags. Somebody looked at this on the map and thought, oh, that looks fun. In this case, they were right. If there's gravel on it, it becomes uh, not so fun real quick. Ooh, this is steep. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, crap. 
yeah, this way. Whoa, nice blind rise. The descent is even steeper into a hard decreasing radius left. I wonder if they get much snow here in Tennessee, in this part of the state. If they do, man, this road's going to suck in the winter. Okay. So, where is the bonus point? I guess this road thing would have given me... Uh, Yeah, I see what that other bypass was. It was to bypass all that road back there and take the highway, but I want to go that way. So if I go right, that's the bonus point. So I'm going right. I don't know why this uh, this route is trying to steer me astray. I want to go where the bonus point is. Come on, I've already committed. See it through. Make a U-turn. No, the bonus point's down here, damn you. Bonus point two. I found the uh, bonus point. There were uh, several riders on uh, ADVs and uh, monkeys uh, pulling out when I got here. I forgot to turn on the camera. So yeah, that was the right place. And I don't know why uh, Garmin was trying to make me skip it. I don't want to skip it. Even when I zoom in now, it, it didn't have BP2 on there. It had something else. I had to change the zoom. So it's like the uh, the routing point was goofed up in Garmin's memory. I exited my track and went back in several times. It didn't uh, didn't seem to fix it. But I just used the bullseye to figure out where I was and that did the trick. Now we look and see where we're at. Still 250 miles out from destination and I'm sure there'll be at least one or two more control points along the way. CP2, CP3, and then uh, I'm not sure how many bonus points. I didn't really look that closely at the uh, the schedule for today. It seemed like there were about eight points total, something like that. I was feeling a funny resonance in my CVT uh, this last handful of miles since I turned off that other highway. Ooh, this is uh, seriously tight downhill decreasing radius off camber. Let's throw a few variables. Um, after I turned off that last highway to go to this checkpoint, uh, I was noticing a nasty vibration or oscillation in the uh, belt above 56 miles an hour. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully that's not a continued uh, theme for today. I'm gonna find out. If it's uh, really nasty vibrating, uh, that could mean the belt is already wearing or getting into some trouble. I hope not. Uh, if I keep feeling that, then I guess I need to reduce my speed to 55 and not go above that for the rest of the trip and see if I can 
baby some more life out of the belt. But again, it's all supposition at this point. I have no empirical evidence except for tingly floorboards and uh, chassis vibration above 56. So we'll see how it goes. Good twisty Tennessee roads. Yeehaw, nice corner. Okay, where am I supposed to go? 200 feet? <laughs> I'm supposed to go here. It's dirt. Track it. Hang a foot. <laughs> Coming out of that corner, like, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be right here. Yep, that was it. Too late. All right, settle in. 4.3 and uh, more twisties. I don't know where my next uh, bonus or control point is. It's probably quite a ways out. On these long days, they're spaced out uh, pretty far. along and uh, the next turn is a gravel section I didn't realize we had day seven gravel and there is not a, uh, a bypass that I see that's easy it's gonna be way up and around and I don't know how far but this looks like a long gravel section I mean really long so I, I am really gonna I'm gonna investigate my options here because this is looking to me like about 10 miles of gravel there doesn't seem to be an alternate to get over there to that point. Let's take 48. Come on now. 48. Damn it. Stop it. 48. Oh man, this is a lot of gravel. Wow. And what is this? Bonus point three. I think I'm skipping bonus point three, ladies and gents. I don't think I want to do gravel today. Besides, I got an open camera here without the, uh, the cover on it. So... If I take another bypass checkpoint two. So what is my bypass option to get to checkpoint two? And holy hell is it hot out here. Is there anything that leads in there? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm skipping this. I don't need this bonus point. I don't need the bonus point. Hey, it spun the tire. Yeah, I don't feel like doing gravel. I'm going to skip it. It's a bonus. I just need to get to that checkpoint. I don't want to do gravel today. If I can avoid it, I'm not waiting on that car. That's one of our guys. That might be our truck. Yeah. I think that was our truck, and I'm not taking that path. You guys... Have fun. get this on camera. My uh, my turn off of the main highway is uh, Meriwether Lewis something. This is my bypass that I'm taking. It's not official, but uh, what do we have here? 
Natchez Trace Parkway. So I'm on the Natchez Trace. What the? Hey, that's worth a picture moment. I don't care if it costs me time. Look at that. So I'm going to be going down part of the Natchez Trace for a little bit. Is this the northmost end? Because pretty much dead ends right here. So is this the northern terminus? Am I close to uh, Nashville? I don't even know where I am, man. Got a 4 by a UTV. Cool. This is cool. I'm going to take this and send it to the cannonballers. Let them know what I did instead. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Uh, that means this is going to be a slow parkway, you know, slow road here. Only 45 miles an hour. Uh, but that's okay. It's going to take me down and around to... Uh, you got another scooter out here. I don't think he's one of us. Uh, it's going to take me down to uh, re-intersect with the main track. This it put me north about 15 miles, but better than doing dirt. I didn't want to do dirt today. Howdy. Guy was just waiting for me to get out of the way so he could take a picture. Hey, I've got to fix this uh, head shake. Something is up with my... Uh, my front wheel. I don't know what that is, but it ain't nice. Road. Turn on road. I turned on road. Now the Natchez Trace is a quarter mile up. Okay, couldn't I have just stayed on the other highway? Was it taking me there? No, no this is different. So, left on Natchez Trace. See, northern terminus 57 miles, so I'm going north. So, no, this is not the northmost. This was just an entry point. And what is eating my hand? Ouch. I, I got a bug in there. Okay, so I got five miles on this, and I'm speeding on the. No, I'm not speeding. It's 50 on the trace. Okay. I don't think I've been up this far north on it in Tennessee before, but I'll be doing this on a bicycle very soon. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be bike packing the whole thing. Yeah, I was right. There was something in my glove. I don't know what it was, but it bit me good. Chewed on me right there. Big old bite. Didn't feel like a sting, but it was definitely a bite bite. I thought I might have gotten a wasp in there or something. That's that's a double hit. It hurts. It's right in the glove is wearing on it, rubbing on it. Ouchie. Okay, I'm back on track, uh, back on the main route, East 129, so I bypassed all of the dirt stuff. Uh, it took me on probably a pretty big uh, extra loop, probably an additional 50 miles or something like that, but uh, at least it was fast traveling and I don't have to worry about eating gravel uh, or damaging the bike any worse than it's already damaged, so I can continue on and uh, it can carry me home later. <laughs> So, preserve the machine and my sanity. Uh, so, yep, now I'm back on the main track. Uh, I'm sure I'm quite a ways behind everybody now. Anybody that took that dirt section, it might have been faster, shorter than it appeared on the GPS, but I didn't feel like I wanted to chance it today. I'm just not feeling up to a lot of uh, crazy gravel. 
So now I'm just gonna cross some twisty highway roads and erase this last uh, 45 minutes of uh, super slab time out of my consciousness. Looks like I've got a turn, point 0.4, now stay on it. Oh, well, see, I, I, I missed a turn already. How did I miss a turn? I just started having fun and I missed a turn. Was that a junction right there? That was a junction. How did I miss the junction? These little junctions just don't stand out. They look like driveways to me. Is it, is it just me? It looked like a driveway. That looks like a driveway. No damn way am I supposed to take that. There's nothing here, right? This? Okay, this must be it. Are you serious? It looks like a driveway. Better not be more gravel. I'm gonna get pissed off. Well, this undocumented gravel on this trip today is starting to get on my nerves. It's like I'm going down a residential drive here. All right, wish me luck. Ugh. Oh yeah, bad quality road. Maybe I should have stayed on the path that I had. It was running parallel to that. Oy. Yeah, mine was just running a loop over the top of it. Definitely smoother, faster. Ooh, gravel on the edge. That guy's going way fast. It's chilly back here. It feels great. Temperature dropped like 10 degrees instantly. Oh, I love this. Road conditions, uh, not quite. Temperature, fantastic. Ugh. Oh man, this is one of seriously rough road. Pretty steep too. I'm full tilt. Can't get past 34 miles an hour. Steep, steep, steep. Uh, okay. Yeah, this this was a waste. I should have gone that other one. Okay, so right turn. Yeah, the one that I was on was going to take me right there. Uh. Should have trusted it. Yeah, that loop right there. That would have been perfect. Would have hauled ass and avoided all the uh, puddles. Oh well. Official routes. Not necessarily optimized. Make sure that's not a copper copper. Nope.
Okay, intermission time. Battery uh, died. I wanted to replace the battery in this camera because this is some sketchy, sketchy road back here. We're talking super tight, super twisty, uphill, downhill, 25% downhill grades right to hairpin corners. No marking, there's no signage. <laughs> this is for locals, this is not for tourists. Uh, and I uh, took a leak in the bushes in the swamp. There's like a swamp that runs across this. Just doing my part to add some water, eh? I suppose I can check in out here. I doubt I've got coverage. Oh, it's so hot. And, uh, one bar, 4G. One bar. Okay, so it's recording again. I don't know uh, what I lost from that, but we'll see. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Have I mentioned it's hot? So I'm kind of humid. I mean, this road is narrow, twisty, bad pavement, extremely steep crooked I'll bet this is a booger when it gets wet it rains or snows out here good luck knowing where the road is how to find it and I am on the official track so huh. Yeah, forgot to mention lots of gravel on the road too. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, uh, and wet grass, it's always fun. down today. Hopefully not any, but uh, this kind of stuff is uh, bound to catch a few people out. Especially if you're racing in a group, you know, everybody's trying to keep up with everybody else instead of riding their own ride. So I'm kind of actually happy that I'm out here by myself and not worrying about being a pace setter or somebody riding right up my butt. Hey, see? Stop sign. No warning. I saw the T. I didn't know what it was. Uh, it's got to be a Louie. Yep. Whee! No warning, just uh, good friggin' luck. Okay, so it is right turn, Clyde. Okay, and uh, straight. So I could have probably found whatever this road is. It's much better quality and not had to go through all that nonsense. Hmm, oh well. This road's good quality. Could have saved a bunch of time not going through that official route and uh, figuring out what this bypass is. Of course, the Garmin is not going to tell you what the bypass is as far as the quality of the road. It's, it, there's no way to know the road surface. With Google Maps, you can look at it in you know satellite view and uh, see if it's paved or not. And that's not always foolproof because occasionally it looks to be paved and it's actually like whiter grayish gravel. And so it's not 100% foolproof to know what the surface is. It's okay, I'm just trying to skip the gravel today. Okay. 20 mile an hour, I think they're not kidding. Yeah, they are very correct. Three, highway 129 again. Well, this Highway 129 is one crooked monkey. 
So I could have stayed on 129 this whole time, apparently. If this is still 129, all the little sideways zigzagging nonsense that I just went through was unnecessary. Unnecessary. Oh, this is like a sketchy corner. Yeah, should have just stayed on 129 this whole time. Oy. Oy vey. official mile marker. I don't know where my next check or bonus point is. Just gonna keep on rolling. Yeah, definitely should have just stayed on 129. I don't know what all that nonsense was through that residential neighborhood. Maybe just to see if we're paying attention. I don't know. Right turn. Five point three miles, and it turns again. Windy. I wonder if we have some weather coming in. It's getting gusty out here. Scooter rivers. Why are they going that way? going the wrong way? Maybe I should stop and look, huh? If I'm going the wrong way, I want to know now. They were part of the crew. No, all my chevrons are pointing the correct direction. I'm going the right way. <laughs> Just a sanity check. Yeah, I'm headed toward the bonus point five. Oh, wait. And then where does it go after bonus point five? It goes down and continues on. Yeah, I'm going the right way. They're going the wrong way. I don't know where they're going. I'm pretty sure they were part of our crew. I thought I saw numbers on one of them. Sanity check. Just make sure. Don't want to end up back on day six's route. Whoopsie. Is it? Nope, she's coming. Point two. Which 
29 left. There it is. 300 feet. Yeah. So go this way. Don't go that way. Lynchburg. Lynchburg, Tennessee. Isn't that the home of Jack Daniels or something? That'd be fun. Could do a tour of that facility. Headed into the bonus point. I see a bullseye. If it's on my track and I don't have to do gravel, fine. I'll take it. Hey, another scooter. Finally found another scooter going my direction. Gives me hope. It makes me think I'm not going crazy, going the wrong way. I think it's a scoot. It might be a motorcycle. I don't know if that's part of our group or not. I don't know. Check in. Ow, my butt hurts. Yeah, I see a bunch of scoots up in front of me. Cool. Is this the checkpoint? No, not yet. I have to go left and then the checkpoint. That is the T-Dub. The rear tire didn't look big enough for the T-Dub, but I guess it is. Mmm, I smell funnel cake or uh, something sweet. I'm having a party down here. Look at all this. Not that fair. Got a bunch of scoots. What are we taking a picture of? Oh, the barbecue caboose. All right. Don't tip over. What are we at right now? What is this checkpoint? Is this the checkpoint? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. This ain't it. Which checkpoint is this? I don't know. This ain't it. Okay. I don't think so. It's got to be it. The only thing I can figure, I went down there and there was nothing else down there. The only thing on the sheet says Backwoods Barbecue and the picture doesn't look doesn't anything, look anything like, like it. Anything like that. It's out in the middle nothing. of nowhere. Backwoods Barbecue. Well, and, but it, I'm just going to assume that. And that's Barbecue Caboose Cafe. Yeah, I'm going to skip it. It's too hot to mess around out here. I just have to figure out how to get back on the route.
ready for any more bullshit bonus points. Stop. Minus more fuel. Welcome to uh, nowhere, Tennessee. Ferris Creek Bridge Road. Uh, and. 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 Yeah. And. Don't know what this is. The other road. Looking for that one. Whatever I'm on right now. Anywho. Uh, stopped in the middle of the road here at a, a intersection. Need to refuel the bike. And I'm looking for another uh, route besides these bonus point roads and I don't know what bit me but oh my god does it hurt um oh the map's up there uh I need to need to get off these back roads today I'm not enjoying this at all today I uh there's way too many unknowns potholes uh, I've had a couple of near head-on collisions I think I'm gonna call the ball on these uh, back roads and I'm just gonna skip to the last control point and go to the hotel uh, just a little bit too risky out here, I think. I've already missed a couple of the uh, bonus points. I missed the, the two early ones that were for, uh, on that dirt section. I said, no, not doing it. And then, uh, there was one in town back there in Lynchburg, but they're having some kind of a big fair going on, and the Tons of foot traffic, tons of cars, motorcycles everywhere, and uh, it's just too hard to maneuver around in there. And I met up with several other scooter riders, and nobody could figure out where this barbecue place was because the center of the circle had it at a totally different picture. So I didn't even bother taking a picture. I think they may have. I probably should have, you know, just to get a bonus point if that was an error on the picture, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just not feeling it today. Starting to get cannonballed out. Usually happens around day seven or you know, six or something like that. You just get tired of running in circles. So my scorecard looks like absolute Swiss cheese and uh, I've got no chance of you know points winning. Oh! I've got no chance of winning you know major points or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do the the control points or checkpoints, the main ones that we have to, in order to qualify for the day, and uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm just gonna cash out. I think I'm at the last one anyway, but yeah, I'm getting off these back roads because this stuff is just too dangerous. The route that uh, this is taking is just absolute crap quality roads, and I don't want to be on them. Preserve my health and the bike so I can actually make it back home at the end of this. And boy, is it hot out here. Cannot explain to you how hot it is. It's like a thousand percent humidity. I'm just pouring sweat. Uh, okay, so now it's uh, reroute time. I'm going to figure out what I can do routing wise to get off of this crap that I'm in. Uh, I need to find the next check or control point and just go straight to it. If this takes me there, fine. I am not doing any more bonus points. Control point three. Okay, so I'm on the route and that should take me where I want to go. I'm going to be very pissed off if it has more gravel and other stuff. Uh, I will go 20 miles around it if I have to. I'm not doing that anymore. CP3, I haven't made it to yet. So, I'm working towards CP3, that's CP3, I gotta make that, and if there are other bonus points along the way, fine, if they are dirt, they're getting skipped, because I ain't doing them, I'm just done. Today, it's hot, ain't working out, yeah, those are on the route, so as long as they're not dirt, skip them. Hey, alright, back on the road super hot oh yeah and I haven't eaten so I'm kind of hangry I ate a little bit of breakfast but it wasn't enough and I don't want to end up uh, having to stop for a bio break I'm going the right way you turn well yeah, see I probably went the wrong way already oh god that's how this day is going man I'm just not having a good day. Am I going the correct way or the wrong way? I have to restart the route because this thing has been acting up. Trip planner. Come on now. Save trips. 
Day seven track. Okay. Go. Okay. Start. Make a U-turn. Okay, yeah. So I am going the wrong way. Damn. Oh, it's so incredibly hot. And that doesn't help anything. Okay, so stay back on the route. This was not a turn. And those look like rain clouds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tired. Tired and hungry. I need something to drink. I need to cool off. It's really, really hot and humid out here today. I thought it might be nice to lone wolf it today and, uh, you know, see how my uh, options went. But with the uh, unscheduled gravel and dirt and all that, nah. Just skip it. I'm ready to get to the end of it. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Tired. Yeah. I love what you've done with the plastic. 
Oh, uh, that happened on uh, day one, right before we started. Is that right before the start? Yeah. Oh no. I ran into another rider. He stopped at a stop sign uh -huh. and then went to go. I took off to go behind him, but he had stopped again suddenly, and I just wham! Oh my oh, gosh. I've known so many people that have been there. <laughs> so you ride driving one of the support trucks? Yeah, my wife and my boys are are in this. Are, are they riding the little uh, and stuff? No, the boys are on ADV 150s, and my wife's not official. She's following on on her uh, Yamaha TW 200. Okay. I saw him a, a little earlier. The TW 200? Yeah, I saw it. All right, thank you. Last tracking I saw said she was still rolling and pretty close. Tennessee River Bridge. So I finished checkpoint three back there. I don't think I recorded anything. I'm really tired today. I'm fatigued. I'm annoyed. I'm hangry. It's not a good day for me. Uh, we are an uh, hour and a half out still. About 90 miles. 88, 90 miles, something like that. This says my arrival time is an hour and 25 minutes from now. If I continue at this pace, uh, I think the two, there's one or two more bonus points right before the hotel, and they're on the route here. Uh, if they go off the beaten path, I have uh, Google Maps routing me also. I don't want any more detours. I'm going straight to the hotel. If the checkpoints are on the way, fine. If they're not, I don't care. I'm dumping them. Don't need them. I want to get to the hotel and get this done. Uh, I need to do laundry tonight. I've got to change my oil on the bike. I've got to offload video to uh, my storage cards. Got a lot of a lot of chores tonight. I might do a live, but I'm in a pretty pissy mood right now, so I don't know how that'll how that'll work. We'll find out. If I get in a better mood, I might do the live. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know already because you'll have seen it if it happens uh, these videos won't be edited for a while so yeah, I, I've had a pretty shitty fucking day not bad I mean it, it's not I haven't had any failures bike is running great again which is a good thing uh, I, it's just I, the fatigue is setting up and these roads that we just went through in Tennessee coming into Alabama are an absolute shit show. Uh, they're okay if you're alert and you're on the right bike, the right vehicle, or whatever, but they're pretty sketchy. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of bad, bad hairpins, downhill off-camber stuff that immediately does a 180 and nothing is labeled, nothing. Good luck. Uh, you go off the road, you're in deep shit. So, I, I don't know. I, I had a couple of close calls. I wasn't really riding outside of my capabilities or envelope, but the road is just that bad. So, I, uh, I'm ready to get off of that. I, I don't want any more of that today. Uh, I know where my limits are, and uh, these are testing my limits right now because I'm not alert. I'm not, I'm not running on all cylinders. So, yeah. Cannonball. <clears throat> this is a hell of a climb. We got uh, dogs. Okay. Try to warn them about those dogs. Full throttle. Forever. I'm going to look at my uh, altimeter here. Yeah, that's a heck of a climb. 14, 40, going up four or five feet a minute. Just steady, 50, 52 miles an hour, full throttle. Right up. Ay, ay, ay. Going up forever. It's getting cooler up here, though. That feels good. It's humid as, you know what, down there in the, below the mountain. Oh my God. Just sweating like crazy. The other thing I need to do is wash out my helmet liner tonight. Man, this thing stinks. It smells like a dirty tennis shoe, and I didn't have time to clean it last night. So, got a lot of chores this evening.
the final stretch. Uh, this is really pretty out here in Alabama. I'm not sure where we are exactly. Beautiful twisty highway. We're on uh, uh, Alabama 117 with a lot of traffic in front of me that cannot figure out how to drive. They're full on the gas, full on the brake, full on the gas, full on the brake. Just, just go, man. Just go. Maintain the speed so the rest of us can do the same. Um, we've got about 55 minutes left, barring any uh, incidents or road closures or anything like that. So I'm going to try to uh, keep myself awake. That is challenge number one, first and foremost, the most important, because uh, I'm having a very hard time staying awake. I've woken up dreaming three times. That's not a good thing. Woken up while riding. Mm. Wake up! And I realized I was in a full on dream like, wait a minute. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, I arrived. I forgot to turn the camera on as I pulled in, took my pictures and all that. Uh, we're in the underground parking garage. This is finish line for day seven at the Courtyard Marriott in Rome, Georgia. And my uh, yeah, stuff is shutting down. I'm tired. I'm shutting down too. My brain is cooked. I'm ready to get off, out, be done with this for today. Uh, I need to find out if Neil and the other guys made it in yet. They should have been here a couple hours ago, I'm sure. It's like 6.30 uh, p.m. right now, something like that. What time is it? What time is it? I'm so tired. 6.20. Yeah. Uh, so I need to see if they've uh, checked in what's going on. I'm going to get this stinky helmet off my head, figure out what my accommodations are for tonight, uh, and get those underway, uh, you know, preparations, because I need to get laundry done, uh, battery charging and I need to do my oil change so I need to look around for an auto zone somewhere and borrow an oil pan from them drain it and hand them the stuff to recycle I'll catch up with you in a bit this is officially my fault uh, Maybe. I don't know. after Only partially. Uh, after watching uh, my cannonball videos uh, he went out and got this thing and he's been prepping for uh, over a year to do the cannonball uh, based on me making it look easy uh, and I said no that's the magic of video editing sir the the mind-numbing torture of sitting in that saddle for 12 hours a day there's nothing easy about that <laughs> we're off yeah I just noticed we're off we're see we're talking we are up the route so bad today oh my god we've made so many loops I'm not paying attention either right as you said that I was looking down I was like where the hell is the line that's all right we're having fun Okay, slow, 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 big holes, and tight grip. Oh. You, you okay? Ah, oh, I don't know yet. Yeah, can you get the bike off my leg? Thanks. All right, so, you all good right? down? Your, your head hit. I, I took a chin hit. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to ride. Yeah, as long as the bike is rideable, I'm riding it. Is, uh, my leg is really hurting good. I'm carrying some souvenir gravel in the boot, uh, and yeah, the bike has uh, definitely seen better days. <laughs> I'm gonna soldier on. I don't care. Ow! It hurts.